And Delta State Government has pledged to recover all government lands illegally acquired by illegal land grabbers across the state. The Chairman Task Force on Land Recovery and Outright Demolition Committee, Chief Frank Omari, met the pledge at a meeting with occupiers of landed property of the Denis Osadabe University and Y Asaba. People that who are staying in our government land illegally. So we just informed them exactly what the government of Delta State intend doing. As government, we are responsible people. We need to inform them that that land they are staying temporarily is government land. And we are taking over the land. But it's a university land. Not only land. So many land in the 25 local government of Delta State. So if we start it from university land, if you know you have a land in Burutu, in Escavos, in Agbaro, in Sapele, and it's government land, just vacate the land. If you don't vacate the land, we'll compel you to vacate it. Because we cannot, you know, you, you cannot. We, they are, gov as government, we have the documents, so we don't want to op oppress people. So people that who know that you are staying in that land, and you don't have a building approvers, you don't have a building permit, you cannot in any way no longer stay there. It should just be vacating from the place. It's not sentiment. On his part, the Vice Chancellor, Dennis Osadebe University and Waya Sabah, Professor Ben Ogojafo thanked the state governor for constituting the committee to recover the land of the university encroached upon by illegal land speculators, pointing out that a lot of persons have built on government land. Given to us upon assumption of office was being demarcated. That demarcation is contained in the CFO and our, uh, our survey plan of the university. With the Minister of Land and Survey, the coordinates are well identified there. As to what extent are they encroaching on our land? From Ubulu side, they are encroaching on our land. From our road side, they are encroaching on our land. Even our fence that existed under College of Agriculture had been pulled down by the community. From the Akbo side, the Akbo side, they are also selling our land. In everywhere in the world, people speculate to buy land and they are allowed to aspire to own land. But there is a, a provision in law with a covenant at all, buyer beware. And my campus took over and this lease agreement expired since 2004 and up till now no compensation has been paid to the host family. We discovered recently that part of the land that the school are occupying are being used by individuals that are known to us. Presently, the matter is still in court, pending at the High Court 5, Coca. We are asking for an injunction restraining the we have some occupants who are unknown to us. We sue them. We probably sue the school. We sue them individually because they are unknown to us. It is left for them to come to the court and tell the court that it is the school. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.